But one thing, um, there's a, a method of um, planning for social media marketing or, or involvement and that, that's post. So anybody wants to guess what P stands for? Right, people. And that's objectives, that's the word that no presenter wants to say, especially being a fan, strategy. And then technology. And we talk about technology a lot. I mean, these kind of seminars, they are, they are full of uh, Twitters and Facebooks and stuff. But really, we need to talk about people and human behavior first. And I think it's a little bit of it that Harriet and Tom left. Because I was really curious to know what is actually the reason for people posting ideas or being socially in, uh, in bike calling and so on. And Dr. Hogan has made a, um, uh, a list of human drivers. And basically, you can share them in three. First, they are very basic drivers, which is like sex. And sex, of course, is a very powerful driver when you do anything in social media. Second is uh, social status. And then in the third group are things like fame. I used to work at Nike, uh, running NikeID.com, which is a mass customization thing. And uh, when Nike uh, put somebody on the, on the let's say, NikeFootball.com, it's all about fame. So you, you show your, your tricks, and then people rank you, and then it's all about fame. You don't need to give any stuff. I mean, reward is important, but it can be fame. And I'm really curious to know how no one on that, for instance, will go go on and how it will do well. Then I'm feeling a huge pressure because you guys are posting questions like, where's the money? And I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to talk about the money. Uh, one thing, one, my, my favorite example of programs that really utilize social media is my code rewards. My code rewards. I'm sorry, it's not about travel. Um, it's about Coke products and, and buying products. Um, Coke products, you get codes. And with codes, you get points. And with points, you can get stuff like watches or even travel prices. Have you seen my Coke rewards? Have you seen? That's very good. And they utilize their own websites, but all social media. They, they present, they, um, they introduce uh, and, and give feedback on, on YouTube and, and so on and so on. Very good. So return on investment, of course, is about money you gain against your uh, investment. And funny enough, I'm talking about traditional in some way when I, when I, I listen to social media and, and this kind of stuff here today. Normally, uh, social media is an amplifier. Everybody know what amplifier is? So obviously. And when you think of really big phenomena in social media, very few of them are actually, they have started in that. In that. When you think of Susan Boyle or that, um, Remember the Helsinki Sanomat uh, advertisement about uh, the ponytail girl who was lost in Mecca, in the restaurant of Mecca. So many of the things they have started in mass media and then social media is an amplifier. And if you think, and I'm surprised that nobody, nobody said this clearly, if you handle any of these things here as an advertisement, advertising platform, you will, you will for sure fail. Therefore, if you want to think money, you want to think a little bit uh, wider than just spreading your, your own topics and try to, to guide them. It's, it's all right. And if you, if you have a good, uh, good content, if you do good advertising, then hopefully it will get through, like the key investor model of 
think that kind of. <laughs> Somebody from Kiev this morning sounds like it. <laughs> For the sake of uh, of being really, I mean, and you can say that okay, the guy is really nice, so there are, there are only over like six things, but I, uh, I. I'm trying to group these mechanisms. I, I'm not talking about tools. I mean, I mean Helen, for instance. I mean, oh my God, she knows everything about tools. So I'm not, I'm not here in, here to talk about tools. I'm talking about ways of uh, of making money or at least trying really hard. First of all, um, all the crowdsourcing type of things, and I go a little bit deeper into those in a second. And then I talk about communities uh, as an as a service extension, and uh, I was really funny to, to listen to Juha earlier today, because number five is like you create a community and then you sell it, so you make money out of it, right? So I'm trying to get a little bit uh, wider scope in this thing. Um, Today, we have heard about being uh, open, and it's all about openness. And I'm sorry to be a really, little bit boring here, but I'd like to take a step back and talk about closed communities. Um, has anybody here uh, run a closed, moderated community? So, suljettu yhteisö, tutkimusyhteisö. Anybody? That's, that's what I thought. It's not too common. So basically what you do, you use social media tools, but you recruit a, a number of people, let's say 150 people, and you create a little community around questions you want to ask about. And it can be anything. It can be about your product, your service, your whatever. And then you moderate it. And, and, uh, and you normally use an external vendor uh, to do that for you. And, and that's, you, you've asked like how do I then utilize the results? When you limit the topic really clearly, then you really get the answers on the thing you want to research. So closed communities, there are a few uh, providers uh, of this kind of service in, in Finland, and, uh, and one of them is uh, Interquest. So again, basically you recruit a group of people, you throw them a question, and then you moderate it. Yeah, well, I'm sure you show young one. Ten. Yeah. Five. Okay. When I get started, it can take <laughs> forever. Um, then, second way, so indirectly making money out of it is many to many uh, development communities like, uh, like mine on here. And uh, thanks Ilka. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a place where you find this kind of crowdsourcing and, and related examples, plenty of them. So if you want to go and take a look, uh, that's a good source. So in many to many uh, development communities, you basically enable the, the development. <coughs> They're not necessarily really visible uh, in this thing, uh, but you enable it, you probably feed something to the discussion, and then you utilize some of the, some of the results, but basically you are helping the world to, to become a better place, and of course this is <coughs> Nokia, Nokia driven. Uh, thing. Um, I think, I mean, you guys, you work with, many of you work with uh, hospitality, with travel, and, and therefore you probably want to do what I call branded crowdsourcing. So you try to create a community for yourself and and, and use it for your own purposes, and of course, no one on that is, is one of these. Uh, Starbucks, Ilka, you mentioned that they are, they were uh, even uh, awarded for my Starbucks idea. I think they were chosen as uh, one of the top 10 